away from me No, you couldn't possibly We're just not seeing things so something different about not my makeup because it's very like it's very natural today okay I'm gonna get crazy with my eyeliner but can you guys tell something different about my hair other than the fact that I need some new braids I have on a closure I have not wore a closure and I don't know how damn long and I sure can tell just by my install different like it just feels so different than it does with a frontal completely so this hair is from annabelle hair and you guys know annabelle hair is one of those places that i have some of my most watched videos from which was my straight hair that i did from them that i told you guys i no longer have that hair that hair is actually uh with my friend shami now she just worked to coachella with no issues so she's st is still kicking and it's been over a year so I am wearing their Brazilian straight, and this is four bundles, but it, yeah, it's four bundles, because if I would've cut this with three bundles, my hair would've been much thinner than this. And then my frontal, I mean, see? My closure, I believe, is uh, 18 inches. So what I did was, I went ahead and cut some layers into it, and you know, this is a very easy look, and then I went ahead and curled it, as you can see because I wanted to just give it some life and give it some body. And then I went ahead and taped it down right here. But man, it feels weird not to have no frontal on, like where I can show y'all my edges and throw this in it. Mm -mm, we're not getting that. And I don't, remember, I don't know how this got lost in translation where I said yes to a closure. Cause that usually, I'm always like, no. Even if it's only a 13 by four, and not my new favorite, a 13 by six, I usually say I'll take that over a closure. But I know some of you guys actually still like closures, and that's fine. To the hair itself. First off, I will say that I do like this hair a whole lot. This is very reminiscent of what I had once before. I believe I actually had this hair once before from them, and it has not given me any issues whatsoever. I will also link my glasses below because I'm feeling very old Hollywood right now and today I actually had lunch today um, not with this sweater on because it is too hot um, but I did this whole look where I just wore like some very natural makeup um, not nothing too crazy and I wanted to just you know accompany with some, or a little bit of glasses you know just a little bit diva like attitude but so as far as the closure goes the closure is fine as you can see this is what I got this is the you know, it doesn't, closures don't give you as much versatility as you would get with a frontal or a full lace wig, but it's, it, it, it did the job and it cut easy. It didn't give me no issues with trying to cut this. So as far as the hair goes, as you can see, it's very soft when I run the brush through it. It doesn't give me any issues. There's no snagging, there's no issues. There is no shedding mainly. And yeah, I feel like a hippie low key. Yeah. So you see, it's still soft, it's still bouncy, it still has life to it, it's not dead or anything like that. I only cut so much off, I could've went in and really chopped it up, but I didn't do that. Just because I wanted you guys to actually see how this hair fared, I've had it for quite some time. I don't remember the timeline of how long I've had this hair, but it's been definitely a minute. The only downside about this hair that I don't like is the fact that it didn't have no frontal to it. But it's it's straight hair. It's it's not nothing that's gonna be an issue or a problem. I did, however, keep these curls up in here uh, for over a week because I was supposed to update this, well, I was supposed to do this review last week and I didn't get around to it. So once I took the wig off, then it had just, I just been like literally plopping it on and I've been, this is a hat wig now. You know, when you don't have a frontal, you wear this with a cute little hat. So hold on. So this is usually how I would wear this on a normal day. And this is how I usually wear it. I don't usually not wear it. That's why my top of my head kind of looks like hat hair because this is how I'm usually wearing it. And it looks great. It's, it's very comfortable. I usually wear this with like some cute shorts. And then, you know, 
have a good little, you know, hippie-ish type of feel to this. But overall, the hair doesn't give me any major tangling. I just have to make sure that I, again, wash this with the correct shampoo. I use, hold on. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions and I will do an update video on this later. But the products that I like to use for certain types of hair, I like to use this shampoo and conditioner from Magic Hair Company. As you can see, this one is almost gone. But I like to use these because they actually work and they're, I don't know if they're made specifically for extensions. However, they work great on extensions. They work great on my hair too. But I've noticed a big difference in how my hair acts after using these. These are both made of, it has no parabens. It is a straightener safe. Okay, I don't think you guys understand what that means, but Keratin also is another thing that is great because it actually helps the hair stay, you know, fortified and nice and bouncy and beautiful. So I like to use these on my curly, wavy, and all in my hair too. So all my extensions in my hair, I like to use this. Those are available on uh, Magic Hair Company's site, but I also still use these, which is my Giovanni's uh, tea, uh, the tea tree shampoo. I like to use these. Now, a word of advice. These are great for clarifying, okay? And there is a meeting, a meeting. There's a meter on the back here that tells you how much clarifying versus how much moisturizing and hydrating you're gonna get from this. So make sure when you buy these, again, these are normally $24. You can get them at your local TJ Maxx for $12.99. So these are great. So I use these to do the initial wash when I first get my hair and then I like to use this. This is the magic stuff. This is the Smooth as Silk Deep Moisture Shampoo. Now this stuff is what keeps my extensions looking nice and lustrous like such after I go ahead for a wash so that my hair, cause I think what people think is when your hair is squeaky that is clean and that's true, but it also needs to be moisturized and clean as well because if it doesn't, then you're gonna get a lot of static in your hair. You're gonna, your hair is not gonna be bouncy like this and not gonna wanna stay and that ain't, that ain't cute, that ain't hot. So, this is actually the key of what I like to use. And this is the Smoothest Silk by Giovanni's. This is not sponsored. I paid with these, as you can see, by this TJ Maxx logo with my own money. As far as cutting, not a problem. Holding a curl, great. Um, shedding, like I said, I get a strand here and there. I don't get no major clumps and you guys know with straight hair that's usually a big issue is that you get a lot of clumps of hair and you know while you're wearing it if you're brushing and combing it and I always have a brush or a comb on me just to make sure and when I have layers like this you know you always want to kind of keep it out of your face to kind of define your layers but no, I haven't had no major issues, but I don't have issues with their hair like that. Like, I don't really have issues at all with Annabelle's hair. It's usually completely fine. I don't have no problems. It lasts me, it seems like a century in a lifetime. And yeah, so if you guys are interested in this hair, again, I will put the links to this hair below. Um, if you guys are interested in a styling video for this, although I've done one a while ago, I have not yet done one in like super HD since I've changed everything. So if you're looking for a video for something simple like this and like the, the ins and the outs of cutting your extension that you have like this, put it below because I think it'll help a lot of people because usually when I do this and I did this with a side part, a lot of people's like, can you put a video on how you curled it? So I think it'll just so let me know if you guys are interested in that. And yeah, I will catch y'all in my next one.